Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton OVA coming at you with a quick WWE figure review. Figure I picked up very recently. I uh, got her on a second market on eBay um, and got her at a great price. I was super thrilled. This is China. This is WrestleMania 37 China. And I do have the previous release China. This is an Elite, by the way. Um, so we had no Chinas forever, and now we got a couple. Um, you can see her compared to her her first attempt action figure, and I think she is just a touch shorter. And well, maybe not, but I do think that this figure they they captured her face a lot better. They did pretty good on this one, but it's kind of nondescript. This one is like definitely, definitely uh, Joni Loud. So um, you get your WrestleMania 37 outfit, different hair sculpt, different face sculpt. Uh, the body sculpt, of course, still looks amazing. Uh, she's got a ball joint at the shoulder, upper bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. She does come with extra fists or extra hands that she had, like holding hands. I don't really care for those, so they are in a plastic bag with my other wrestling stuff. Uh, I always keep her with fists, and she does have a swivel on those fists and a hinge. So she's got a pretty decent ab crunch, which, of course, you got to have an ab crunch. That's the most important uh, joint on a wrestling figure, and that's why basics are harder to love. You get a nice waist rotation, ball joint at the hip, upper thigh rotation, cut thing, double jointed knee, swivel at the top of the boot, and ankle rocker pivot. Pretty standard for an elite figure. And, you know, I was just thrilled that I could get this one for what I got it for. I actually picked this up on eBay for like $11. And uh, considering what I had to pay for the first appearance China, I was pretty happy with that. So, a uh, real quick comparison I'll give her. I'm going to stand her next to a basic Sasha Banks, and you can see, you know, there's definitely some size there uh, difference, which I thought was important to note because she was known for being, you know, so huge. And anyway, the paintwork on it is good. I can't get over how good the faces they really captured her when i would argue probably at her happiest i mean early on she was always like really stoic and mean and you know played that part later on in her career when she actually got to to wrestle in matches out from under d generation x uh i think yeah she just seemed so much happier so well until she got fired or triple h screwed her over however you want to put it Either way, um, I think this figure is a great testament to her. I am sorry that it took us so long to get one. And, you know, there is reasons for that, but none of them which I think are probably valid. Anyway, I'm very glad to have it. I'm very pleased with how it looks. I feel it's a great homage to the person. And that's pretty much my story. I hope you guys, if you get the opportunity to buy one of these, I hope you do so. And if you get really frosty, uh, try reading her book. It's actually pretty good. All right, well, that's my story, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.